he's already pissed off. What am I gonna do? Piss him off even more? I Give me a sword and some idea. prompts. I will kill like his entire tree. freaking army with the power of Q. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Igor for Gang Bang Awesome. Today we're playing the Game of Thrones game on the PC. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more uh, important. not so great. <laughs> it didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But you're rather cunty. Is difficult the a synonym for cunty? The entire day like that test was cunty? For the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. Sarah? You little and Jezebel? Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Girl talk, guys. Girl talk. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Doubtful. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Horrible. Very, very bad. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is uh, I'm gonna say I don't mother. want to be queen. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thanks. Let's thanks for allowing see. me to do that. Who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! So this ain't checkers. And You're marrying what people. What are you doing? Well, I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. That's what I just said. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. Really? I'm okay. Just glad it's over. I thought she was going to be upset at me. Exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Love me. Do you agree? Oh my god, her face, man. Why do they do that to her face? Like, from the side profile, it looks good, but... It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Nice. Okay, cool. I smoothed that over. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Uh... I don't know. Should I not ask for her help? Since I already sided with Tyrion... I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go with Tyrion. I say I'm not really sure what this is gonna affect. I'm just gonna not ask for her help. Because she's not really... I don't think she's gonna go above and beyond to help me anyway. She wants to be queen. That's her number one objective. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you. For my family. But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon That's what I, I said. Be queen. And... Maybe, then, I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. That's what I said. Of course, my lady. You're right. Better to wait. Secretive. 
I have ulterior motives now. I feel so secretive. Oh, I'm back with this guy. Uh, screaming in the forest, that's always a good sign. Screaming in a dark forest, what could go wrong? Seven hells. All of them? All seven. Sure you want to conjure up that kind of power? Oh no. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, it's this guy. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Someone needs to kill him. <gasps> like, very soon. Like, I would really, really like it if someone just killed him. Uh-oh. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out. Hide, hide, hide. I mean, tactically, wait, didn't like a man. Easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't well, that's interesting. The Warden of the North. He does now. Trying to do a little good balance of hiding, but it doesn't even matter. I could hear them anyway. A day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. Twigs, motherfucker. There's a lot of them in the forest. They snap. There's absolutely nothing behind this tree. Hear that? Uh, nah, stay still. This guy ain't gonna find me. He ain't gonna find me. How much you guys wanna bet? I will bet you one dollar. Never mind. We <laughs> <enough time already. laughs> All of you owe me one dollar. Oh my god. I have like at least 2,000 people that are gonna watch this eventually. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna have $2,000. All right, cool. We didn't get caught, so that's really, really good. Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy's still flayed. I should probably mind my own business, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go poke around, literally. I'm going to go poke him, see what happens. Hello, buddy. Can you do me a favor and just stay quiet? Can you not yell anything, please? I hate that character. Ramsey, I think his name is? Ugh. Damn. Well, there you go. So much for that guy's skin. Are we at the wall now? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Ethan. My bad. We're back with Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Cool. Hopefully they all have swords. Who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. I want to be like that. Like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. Can I just get, like, give everyone a pig or something? These were your father's people to everyone loved me then. And now they're yours. I'll be pig Oprah. But your father you get a pig, and you get a pig. Alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Okay. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. There's trouble afoot. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive.
Lord Ethan. Mister. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house oh, is Oh no. We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. What? Oh, this dude needs to die. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's on. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. That's fine. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who starve in come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. No, I agree with that. To the war. I totally, totally agree with that. I mean, he stole. He shouldn't have stole. So he needs to be punished for that. I don't think I need to kill him because he does have a point. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Nah, brah. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Show him mercy, send him to the wall, and take three fingers. Send him to the wall. Bye. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! Yeah, and if I show you mercy, people are going to start stealing all the weapons. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Huh. Yeah. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay, what was that look for? Oh, they're both looking at me. They know the decision I will have to make. I'm gonna go with a bearded man, by the way. Spoiler alert. But that's what I'm gonna do. Um... But I am going to go ahead and uh, ask all of my uh, friends for opinions first. But in the next episode, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for rating. I truly appreciate your support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Thanks for watching an awesome gaming awesome video. Now click on another video on the screen right now and watch that one too. Go ahead. I'll wait.